Hey guys, Sam C here, and this is the final storyline quest when you play as the Sith Inquisitor on Korriban. So let's do this. It's pretty awesome, so I thought I'd might as well record it. This is kind of cool. Some weird thing in the middle. I'm not really sure what that is. By the way, there's probably going to be spoilers in this video. Well, there definitely is. Minor spoilers, I would say. I think I get my companion during this quest, and we'll see what else. Anyways... I still don't have a lightsaber. Oh, kind of a long drop there. But anyways, I don't have a lightsaber. I still have this vibro blade. I think I do get a lightsaber very soon though, so hopefully that comes. It'll probably come right after this quest. Um, maybe during this quest even. That'd be cool. Anyways, just gotta kill these droids for a bonus, so I'm gonna be doing that along the way. And wow, these actually do quite a bit of damage. I'm almost dead here. Okay, I hope I can do this. Oh, I'm getting very low. I might die here. Okay, just gotta take a med pack. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, that was kind of a close call. Anyways, while I'm running through this instance here, I might as well tell you what I think about the Sith Inquisitor class and the storyline that comes along with it. I don't think it'd be my favorite, but it's definitely up there. I think the Trooper class would actually be my favorite so far. I haven't played all the classes. Anyways, the storyline for the Sith Inquisitor is really good, actually. It kind of reminds me of the KOTOR 1 storyline, which is pretty awesome, actually. And I think this is probably going to be the second character I play, because the storyline is just that good. Then there's the two advanced classes. I'm actually not that far yet, but there is the Sorcerer and the Assassin, I believe. And the Sorcerer is pretty much long range and force lightning and that type of stuff, and then the Assassin's close range. I actually really like the long range skills that the Sith Inquisitor has, like Force Lightning's awesome to use, I mean it was awesome in KOTOR 1, it's even more awesome in this game really. Then I also have a lot more range skills as well, and there's Force Lightning right there, it's pretty sick. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be choosing the Sorcerer Advanced class when I get that far because I like being ranged on this character way more. It's really all personal preference though, you can either be a DPS or a healer when you choose the Sith Inquisitor. I think the Sorcerer has the option to heal, I'm not sure if the Assassin does, but wow, I just keep having these close calls, this is actually more difficult than I thought it would be. But I'm just gonna heal here, I really like the healing animation for the Sith Inquisitor, you like pace back and forth. I'd say it's cooler than the trooper animation where you just kind of tap your gun over and over and it gets really repetitive. But it's not a deal breaker really, because you don't use it that much. By the way guys, if you want to see more of my tour videos, I also upload content to TGN. We actually have a show on there, which is pretty much a channel within a channel. So if you subscribe to that show, you'll only be notified when we upload content to that show, so you won't get the other spam that we upload to TGN. And I currently have a data crown location guide I'm doing right now, currently on Jerome and Koss. And once I'm done with all the data crowns on there, I'm going to be moving on to Ord Mantel, so definitely check that out. And also I'm doing a Trooper Let's Play right now on this channel, so subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. Also, please like and favorite this video. And looks like we got some more droids to kill. Not much of a variety in the mobs in this instance, but that's okay. And right there you saw my CC, but then I just kind of broke it, I don't know. I just wanted to show you, and it kind of spins them around for 5 seconds or something. It's pretty cool to use in flashpoints and that kind of stuff. One more to kill here, and then it looks like we're at a dead end, so we're going to have to do something here. This thing is glowing, though, so I'm um, just going to loot this quick, and then I'm going to see what this glowing thing is all about. Oh, they're all glowing, okay. So I guess I just have to go around and hit all these. Yeah, okay. This is another cool feature about this game, is a lot of quests have this, where you have to hit certain things, and then it opens up another thing. It's pretty cool, keeps you interacted with the quest, and I like it a lot. Anyways, I'm going to the final rod here. One, two, and okay, I gotta meditate, that's kinda cool. Alright. I made Twi'lek, by the way, it's pretty sweet. Whoa. Oh god. Is this a trap? Getting shocked right now. I don't know if this is good. Okay, it looks like I'm dying. Uh, this is interesting. 
I could be dying right now, but I doubt it because that kind of ruined the whole thing. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. I'm up, I'm all powerful, I'm gonna knock this door down with this intense lightning. It's pretty awesome. Pretty epic, this game, so uh, pre-order if you haven't already. Okay. Oh, the door just opened. I didn't actually break it down or anything. It's a little less anticlimactic, but whatever. Okay. Oh, there's some guy at the end here. I think that's my companion, actually, that I get. Spoiler alert, by the way. I'm not entirely... Yeah, that's definitely my companion. I've seen him around. Okay then. Kind of annoying language. These were the instructions Zash gave me. I am to free you, and you will take me to the map in the final chamber of the tomb. Hmm, okay. Was Jabe wise Jabe prophet this? We sons Jagara high time. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but Tulak Horde is dead. He places Amin's why high fools go and did a seek from Tauhans. Papro got tua in a in the Lausolam. Yeah, that language language is definitely gonna get annoying after a while. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, he's freed himself. Now he's going to devour me, apparently. He's not actually an elite. He's just a strong mob, so it shouldn't be too hard. He's got quite a bit of health, though. But uh, he's no match for me, really. Okay, so he's kind of tough, but he's not too bad. I don't think I actually end up killing him here because I think he does end up being my companion. Or I do kill him, I actually couldn't tell you. This is, this is my first time doing this. Okay, yeah. He just kind of kneeled down. He's a pretty intense looking companion. I'll give him that. I don't know how I understand I his master. language. Get used to it. Okay, cool. So now I gotta make my way to the end of this. And I do have my companion now, so that's cool. I think it's this way, actually. Okay, sweet. But yeah, that's my first companion, so... He will now follow me around and help me fight. And also, he can help craft and also sell my gray items, so that's kind of cool. And he is a melee tank, so me being ranged most of the time is really works out well, actually. And I got some intense bats to kill. This almost looks like the end of the place, so it wasn't too far, which means I'm probably nearing the end of this video. Is he taking aggro from me? I don't I think he is, but... That's okay, these things are pretty easy, especially with a companion. Companions are really good at lower levels, is what I found. Like, they actually own a lot. But usually you don't get it until about the end of the first starting planet. You did get the Jedi Knight companion pretty early, though. The droid that you get. I think it's like level 7 you get it, actually. By the way guys, whoever is actually planning on playing Star Wars The Old Republic Unreleased, I wanted to ask you what class you plan on playing when the game first comes out. I just want to get an idea of what everyone's playing and what the most popular class is when the game first comes out. And I think I'll be playing the Sith Warrior when the game comes out just because most of my friends are going Empire. I do want to play the Trooper though eventually and also the Sith Inquisitor I really want to play as well. Lots of good classes that I want to try, so I'll probably end up playing every class eventually. Might take me a while, but yeah, I'll definitely get there. Because this game is pretty awesome, I really love the story, and wow, that's an intense boss. Okay, I'm going to try and kill it. It is an elite though, so it might be kind of tough. But look at that, it's intense. Um, hopefully I can kill it, I'm going to get full health before I do this. 
companion should also have full health. And I think... I'm not sure, actually. Okay, I think he's he's high enough. We can do this. Okay, wow, I can actually see, see it. That's pretty intense. I tried that and I didn't think it would work, but... That's pretty cool. Another cool thing about companions, when you CC a mob, they won't actually attack the CC mob, so really good AI on the companions. And this guy's pretty tough, but I think we can handle it. My companion has quite a bit of health, so he'll tank it for a while. I think I can get it low enough to where I can actually kill it by myself if my companion goes down. This boss is pretty intense though. Looks kinda cool. Um about halfway, so wasn't too hard. I think my companion is going to die, though. That's okay, though. I can just revive him. It's really not that big of a deal. As long as I don't die. That's, the, that's pretty much the only thing that matters. Sometimes it bugs out and you can't actually revive your companion, but I'm pretty sure that's just going to be in beta. But I'm sure they'll have that fixed by the time the game actually comes out, which is on December 20th, actually, and that's not very far away. Only a two and a half weeks, a little more than two and a half weeks. I'm very excited to actually play the game for real. I mean, I've been playing the game for quite a while now, but just not the same when it's beta because you know your character is going to get erased, which kind of sucks, but that's okay because it is a beta. And I just want to try the game out and make some videos for you guys. Okay, so wasn't too hard. I did get a green item out of that, and I can use it, so that's cool. Remember earlier when I said the Sith Inquisitor story it was kind of like the... KOTOR 1 story, this is why, because of these galaxy maps, which is pretty much what you were trying to find in KOTOR 1, so it definitely has its similarities. I really like this story, and I still can't revive my companion because it is bugged out, but I'll figure that out later. I'm actually going to view this galaxy map right now. I'm kind of sick right now, I'm a bit of a tickle in my throat, not sure what that's all about, but I'm gonna fight through it here and get this video done. Okay, cool. So, that was it. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video, so thank you for watching. Remember to like and favorite this video if you enjoyed it. Also, leave a comment telling me what you thought. And please subscribe to the SWOTOR, guys. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.